images that paint a humanitarian catastrophe that is unfolding in the Middle East. Women and children are most affected. The Israeli offensive against Gaza has intensified. The images of the Kanaj being visited on the Palestinians in Gaza are reminiscent of images of the Second World War that we saw. With children emerging, shaking from the rubble of buildings destroyed by bombs, one child asked, am I still alive? Should a child be asking themselves that? Should a child be, doesn't it move you that a child is asking themselves that question, am I still alive? The one image that just broke my heart was the image of a boy holding the hand of a sis, a sis sister who was dying, teaching the sister to pray in order to ensure that God receives her with grace. A child under 10. I will recite the prayer for you for God to receive you with grace. The most vulnerable are losing their lives as they can't protect themselves. Where is the humanity of the West? But if we jumped in and said, yes, 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 go for it, go get them last year, where would we be now? We would not be able to hold them accountable. Israel is adamant it will continue its action against Hamas. The way and the time that peace will come in the Middle East is when they love their children more than they hate us. The world is better without Al-Qaeda. Society is better without ISIS. And the world and the Middle East will be safer without Hamas, without the regime of the Ayatollah in Iran, without Boko Haram, without the Houthis in Yemen, without the Hezbollah in Lebanon. This is how we'll bring real peace to the Middle East and quiet. And children will be able to go to schools and play safely without being worried of being butchered. The United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, UNICEF, says more than 2,000 children in Gaza have been killed, while 30 Israeli children have reportedly died. Israel has vowed to wipe out Hamas in response to its surprise attacks in which 1,400 people, mostly civilians, were killed. More than 200 people, including foreign nationals, were taken hostage. So far, Hamas has released four hostages. Sophie Mkwen, SABC News, Johannesburg.